Hi, I'm Gail French, and I want to show you how to download your mitochondrial DNA file for uploading to MitoY DNA. When you start your Google Chrome browser, you should see a little icon uh, at the upper right corner of the screen for the MitoY uh, DNA Chrome extension. If you don't have it, click on the link under the big logo to install the extension. Once you've clicked on this link, this screen should appear. Click on the MITRE Y uh, extension box. This gets you to the MITRE Y DNA Chrome extension page. Click on the Add to Chrome button, and a message box will appear that tells you the permissions that are required. Click on the Add extension button. Then close and restart Chrome. This part is important because the new extension isn't loaded until you restart Chrome. When you restart Chrome, you might not see the MY icon at the top. Click on the little puzzle piece looking icon. If the pinned icon for MitoY DNA isn't shaded blue, click on it and the MT icon should appear. Now log in to the account that has the MT DNA that you want to upload to MitoYDNA.org. There will be a section for your mitochondrial results under Maternal Line Ancestry. Click on the See More, and then click on Mutations. On your Mutations page, you should see the Download MitoY DNA File button. Click on that button. The extension formats the data and asks you where you to store the newly created file. Pick a place that you will remember and because you'll need this CSV file later. If you want to look at the file, you can open the file in Excel. It should have over 16,000 entries like this. But do not modify this file. Go back to mitoydna.org and choose the mtDNA kit you wish to update. Click on Edit. Scroll to the bottom of that page and click the Choose File button, and then select the file you just downloaded. Once updated, it will take you back to the kits list. You would use this similar procedure if you are also creating a kit. Find the kit that you just uploaded and verify it by clicking on the NTDNA link. Your screen should show the differences between HVR1 and HVR2 from RCRS. That's it. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. We're doing DNA right.